And welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's Friday the 14th of July 2023. Max Smith, Senior Analyst here from Go Markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight we saw US equities move higher yet again as the data did no harm to positive sentiment. Go looks jobs numbers and a soft PPI. We got three to one advances versus decliners for the third day in a row, suggesting this rally is a broad based one and the bulls are very much in control. The Nasdaq and the Russell 2000 outperformed again. US earnings season has kicked off. We ramp it up tonight with big banks. The headlines, we've got JP Morgan, Wells Fargo and Citibank all reporting. Some regional bank results are going to start to come across the wires as well. Those will be interesting on the back of what happened earlier in the year. US futures are trading slightly negative in the Asian session. And Asian markets are mixed in today's trading so far. The Nikkei is an underperformer. The ASX is up around 0.4%. European futures are pointed to a slightly positive open at this stage and the VIX continues to drift downwards. US dollar index continues to look troubled. It dropped overnight to hit three month lows. It's lower again in Asia so far, primarily against the Japanese yen. Gold moved higher and is now at 1960 resistance and copper has closed at its highest level since mid-April and is iron $4. All also moved higher. It's been a stellar week for the energy space. It is now at mid-April levels and just around the 200 EMA. Bitcoin also had a good night. It is testing 31,000 resistance. It's just popped through that in today's trading. On, on the data front, to finish the week, we've got Japanese industrial production already out. This afternoon, we've got uh, the Eurozone Commission growth forecast report, US consumer sentiment and University of Michigan consumer inflation expectations due. Soft number there, and that will just add to the buying pressure that we've seen all week. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, the Kiwi US dollar is looking very interesting. You can see this really sharp move up over the last couple of days, absolutely smashed through the 200 MA and through this resistance level at 63.62. You can see we've continued up here and we're now just under the 64 level with markets trading at the high of the session. There could be significant upside in this if the, this US dollar weakness continues. Certainly in the first instance, wouldn't be surprised to see it up around that 35 to 40 pips. But perhaps even by the end of the day, if this continues, maybe up as high as 64.80. On the ASX, Block Inc. looks really encouraging. We talked about this earlier in the week when it breached this 200 MA. You can see we had a couple of days where it paused around this 105 level, but now we've absolutely smashed through 108.41. Uh, we're now sitting at 111.33 and we are thinking that in the medium term, should this buyer pressure continue, we could see it up as high as 121, a significant move higher than where we are today. Trading towards the high of the session as we see and a potential return if it gets up there of around about 8.5%. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.